Alright, so I'm just gonna go straight to the topic at hand. I don't want this to be a longer video than necessary. Especially not if I'm just gonna talk about my Augustus self. So, I've been playing a lot of Ghost Recon Wildlands this weekend, and before the beta even arrived, we got some news that, personally, for me, was very disappointing. Uh, it seems like we can't customize our AI teammates. And that doesn't make any sense, really. The AI customization would be perfect for what Ubisoft promised when it came to the game. The point of the game is create your ghost and roam wild in Bolivia. Now, your player, Nomad, can be male or female. He can look anywhere how you want him, you can kill him out any way you want, and this doesn't really alter the way the character interacts with the world. He still has the same lines, he still has the same um, mannerisms, he's he works the same way, and you control him into taking different command decisions. Now, you could say that they have sacrificed Nomad as a character by doing this. Nomad has a distinct style, but few people are gonna recognize Nomad during a convention. Well, he is the poster boy for the game. He, he Every player is gonna outfit him a different way. Now, when you're playing co-op, you have four players, so that's pretty much the same thing. And you have four players who interact like they were part of the team. But they aren't uh, Nomad, they aren't Midas, they aren't Holt, and they aren't Weaver. And that's a bit weird, because one of the arguments I've heard against AI customization is that these characters are characters. They have been worked upon as characters. But it doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. Especially not in co-op. And the entire game can be played in co-op. You can literally play the game without ever having AI teammates. And you will still hear the banter. You will still see the cutscenes. You will still play the game like some would argue it was made to be played. However, AI customization would also give an incentive for solo players. And this would also be a very important thing for the solo players who like the military style. Right now, all three characters are basically, hey, we infiltrated Bolivia, and they look like they are wild man wildlands tourists, like they're out there for hunting, or they're out there for walking, or something like that. Anything that does not involve killing a lot of narco-terrorists. They are undercover. Now, I can understand that, but then you can have your ghosts dressed up in cry-precision gear, and look like very much a Tire 1 special operator. And while I don't see the appeal in that playstyle myself, I really see why people would want to play that way. Because they will, they feel like, want to feel like military types, they want to feel like they're on a special mission, they don't care that they're supposed to be undercover. Besides, multicam is used by what half of the world's special forces at this point, so it's not doesn't really matter. However, if you could just... My point is that AI customization should be limited. I don't need to alter the gender of my AI companions, I don't need to alter their faces. It would be neat to do so, don't get me wrong, it would be really neat for people to, for example, have an all-female ghost team. But I don't see think that's mandatory. What I think is mandatory is the ability to alter the weapons and gear of your ghost teammates, to make sure they you could go with the standard ones, sure, or you could go by preset, but I want the ability to simply change their weapons. I want to dress them up in crappy weapons so they look like uh, rent a mercenary from Argentina or something like that. Sorry, Argentinians, that was really aimed at you, but you get my point. I want my ghosts to look shabby. I want them to look like 
if you look at them and people would go and say, oh, where the fuck did you get those Renta mercenaries? I want them to use crap weapons. I don't want them to wear scars and advanced sniper rifles. I want them to use, like, Sterling machine guns and old AKs, or even give them some of the special weapons that are in the game. And I can't. I simply can't. And this is not a good thing, because it's... Right now, in the beta, the AI isn't all that good. So I don't really feel invested in my team. I don't use them all that much. I don't use them as much as I should, really. And if you could adjust your team, then the you would feel more invested in the characters. And it would also make you more prone to experiment with the different loadouts. And I think this would really make the game better for us solo players, because I am going to be very careful who I play co-op with, because I don't want anyone who plays on easy difficulty to just run in and kill everything while I do a, do a tactile approach. And I'm not going to have all that much time finding and playing with my friends that way. It's that simple. I'm not going to have that time. So, instead, and especially these people are not still not not going to follow the vision I have for the ghost team in Bolivia. And as such, I really feel that AI customization needs to be a thing in this game. They have one month to go, and I realize this feature may not be uh, readily available at launch, even if they were to take the decision after seeing this video, which most likely they won't. And for that reason, I'm not gonna ask you to like or share this video. You can do that if you like, but rather I would ask you that if you have a media channel, if you have Twitter, if you have Facebook, if you have YouTube, make a video, write a post, uh, make sure to if you agree with me, and I realize some of you won't, simply let Ubisoft and the Ghost Recon community team know what you think. Hell, tell them even if you don't agree with me. Tell them you don't want the customization. I might be in a vocal minority about this. So, just do that. And we'll see you in the Wildlands.